Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment and I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. So what do we have here? Rice and tonantu. Okay. We used to complain I did not build hospitals. We used to complain I did not do road. No ma. We used to complain I did not build schools. No ma. Are you not the woman that lost her husband? Yes, ma. Your husband died because they said I did not pay his gratuity. Yes, ma. Have you buried your husband? Yes, ma. When did you bury him? Last year. You, you buried your husband last year. Yes, ma. And you have come to receive your own rice. Yes, ma. And your own 5,000. Yes, ma. Go and enjoy your rice. Go. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. It's okay. You, ma. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go and enjoy. Go and enjoy. Good day, Madam Governor. Your people have complained you have not been road, you have not paid worker salary, you have not been hospital, and you are still coming out for the second time. How do you think these people will vote for you? How can you convince these people? What strategy do you have? It's a simple strategy. We are bringing up the more you look, the less you see strategy. For you to win any political post in Nigeria, you have to be humble. You have to adopt the humility strategy. You have to adopt the humility mechanism. My co-governors did it in the person of Owola Anai Orocha Sokorocha, the former governor of Imo State, now the current senator in the Senate House. Okorocha was leaking watermelon from street to street, from road to road. Rocha Sokorocha almost finished one trailer load of watermelon where he was begging people to vote for him. Okorocha was leaking watermelon, eating pineapple, banana, hugging pure water sellers, eating granite on the street. And Okorocha was elected in his state for the second term. What of Willie? The current governor of Anambra State, Governor Willie Obiano, was jumping from one keke to another, jumping from one Okada to another, trekking, doing so many things, hugging people that are selling bole on the streets just for them to vote for him. Willie is still the current governor of Anambra State. So for you to win an election in Nigeria, you have to come to the people's level. You have to be very humble. And also, you have to give them money. The people are hungry. Just give them money and your problem is solved. Give them rice. Nigerians love to eat rice. That was why when they closed the border, Nigerians almost collapsed because they don't joke with abakaliki rice and foreign rice. Nigerians love to eat jollof rice and fried rice. That is why every home in Nigeria, every Sunday, every Nigerian home likes to cook rice. Give them rice and you will win an election. So the strategy is very simple. When I was coming out for my, second, for my first time, I gave them 1,000. But after the NSAS protest, it now occurred to us that Nigerians are very much awoke, that they might not receive, they might not accept to take 1,000. That is why we restrategized. We said we are going to give them 5,000 naira, 15 cups of rice, one tin tomato, one geisha, and one big onions. There is no family in Nigeria today that you will give 15 cups of rice that will not accept and vote for you. They will vote for you because Nigerians are hungry. They said I did not build hospital. They said I did not uh, construct road. Yes, when I assumed office, I was supposed to build hospital. But haven't seen that Nigerians love temporary resorts instead of the permanent one. I said, what is the need of wasting money building hospital? Every month, federal government give us our allocation. My state will receive allocation every month. Federal government doesn't owe us. So the question is, why don't we pay workers' salaries? Why don't we build roads? Why do we do China roads? The reason is simple. Since these people love 5,000 and love to collect rice. Why not save up the money? This is part of the money. This is part of the money we are supposed to use to construct roads for the people who want to give it to them because they prefer to take the 5,000 and they prefer to take the 15 cups of rice. So why waste our time? So that is the strategy we are bringing to the table. Be humble, give them 5,000, give them rice, and you are already a governor of your state. Madam Governor, they are killing people in your state. Why are you not concerned? They are killing people. I heard that the full of are killing my people. The truth is, I know a lot of uh, Nigerians are asking questions. 
why the eastern governors are so relaxed why are they not proscribing the full and men? Why are we so comfortable with these people? The truth is that I am a governor and I'm telling you the truth. We are cowards. Yes, we are cowards. I am a coward. Because if we are not cowards, we will not allow Fulani people to be killing our mothers and our sisters in the farm. But because we don't love them. The truth is that we don't love the people. I don't love the people. I only want them to vote for me. When I give them money, give them rights, they vote for me. There is no other business I have with them. If I love the people, I will be concerned that Fulani is killing. Because the Miyeti Ala group, they are really protecting the Fulani herdsmen. They are really protecting them. But we have had so many, uh, so for more than three times, we've sat down to do meetings, the Eastern Governors Forum. There has never been a time we sat down to talk something that interests our people. Because we don't love the people. We don't love them. That is why we can't talk about them. If they want to kill all of them, let them kill all of them. What is our business? What we need is for them to vote for us. That's all. Will Nigeria be better again? Nigeria cannot be better when we have hungry journalists like you. Nigerian journalists are almost the problem Nigeria is facing. Nigerian journalists don't have integrity. Just like this interview that we are having now. Once this interview gets to the public domain, it's going to jeopardize my chances of becoming the governor of my state. And the opposition party will use it against me. So what do I do? Since the journalists in Nigeria understand the language of brown envelope, give Nigerian journalists a brown envelope and the truth is truncated. It comes to your favor. I have sat down as a governor for four years, spending money, giving journalists money to tell lies to my favor. I have given them money on Facebook, Instagram, just to, just to tell lies, to tell the people lies, to tell them lies, to tell them things I did not do. Nigerian journalists love money and that is it. Just give them money. And that is it. Throw them money and they will grab it like we're monkeys grabbing banana. They don't joke with Even if you like it, give them brown, empty brown envelope without money, like they will collect it. Because they don't have integrity. So Nigeria can never be better. What is the way forward? There is no way forward. Nigeria is sitting on a time bomb. Very soon Nigeria will explode. For some of you that did economics in school, even though Nigeria education is a total waste of time, where somebody will study medicine and end up repairing generator on the street, so pathetic. But for some of you that know what you did, you will understand what we call equilibrium point in economics. Equilibrium point means when something has got to this, to its elasticity limit, it can never stretch again. Nigeria cannot stretch again, that is why it's coming together. Nigeria is going to collapse as soon as possible, very soon, I'm a, I'm a governor. I'm speaking the minds of my co-governors, even though, even though we are cowards. They don't want to speak, but I have to say it because I know I'm going to collect this clip from this hungry journalist, and it's not going to get to the, to the public view. People will not get to see it. But the truth is, we know that the solution to Nigeria is just to disintegrate it. Nigeria was founded on a very wrong and bad structure. Nigeria is a British company, yes. Some people are benefiting from Nigeria. That Nigeria is, is still existing, some people are sitting down benefiting from it. And I'm one of those benefiting because instead of me to build the road, I'm using the money to give to the people. And the rest I pack it underground. I'm not using doing nothing with it. The last five fifty billion that I packed, I, I went to there, I did not see anything. Think it has spoiled. The money has gotten spoiled. So the question is, why didn't I give it to the people? Why didn't I use it to build the road? Wickedness. We were created, we were created to be wicked to the people. I know you will be asking why am I revealing all these things because I have to tell you the truth. I have to be very honest.